When a driver first sits in a cart and dreams of Formula One, it is an occasion like today that they're picturing. The chance to race the best in the world at a fabled circuit. And this venue, Japan, has provided iconic moments from its inception. The crowd adores the heroes who risk everything to race. And the sheer enthusiasm and originality in the grandstands creates magic in the air. This place, Suzuka, is just that special. Welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix. It is a 53 lap race for us, 3.6 miles, 5.8 kilometers, and 18 turns with evocative name. To conjure motor racing memories. The soft, the medium, and the hard. What a conundrum the teams have improvising as they go. We started the weekend in our coats. We're finishing it in t shirts. The track temperature is 40 degrees, the air temperature is 22. Which way you go with tyre choice could be defining on a glorious day for motor racing. Back to front we go then with Joe Guan Yu and Logan Sargent at the back of the field. Neither one has escaped Q1 this year. The same applies to Pierre Gasly, who is in 17th. Kevin Magnussen is 18th. It's his first Q1 exit of the season so far. And then we have Lance Stroll in 16th, not getting on with the car yet heavily upgraded. Esteban Ocon's P15 is his best start of the season. Alex Albon with his worst start of the campaign, next to Valtteri Bottas, who is in 13th a former winner around this track. Nico Hülkenberg is 12th. He is next to Daniel Ricciardo, who gets his best start of the season so far, but he's still behind his teammate, who gets a huge roar from the crowd as he's shown on the screen. He's next to George Russell, Yuki Tsunoda at his home event. Then we have Lewis Hamilton with his best starting position of the season. He's next to Charles Leclerc, who has his worst. Contrasting fortunes on that row. Then we have Oscar Piastri on the podium here last year, sixth on the grid today. Fernando Alonso's best start here in a decade. He is P5. Our winner from Australia, Carlos Sainz in fourth. Lando Norris started this race third last year, does so again in 2024. Sergio Perez was oh so close to pole position, but he is on the front row next to his teammate for the first time this year. It is time to go racing at Suzuka. And the Japanese Grand Prix is underway. Max Verstappen gets the launch off the line he was looking for as they make their way through and off into the wall. Off into the wall goes the two cars and a big crash into the tyre barrier. Yeah, it's going to be an immediate safety car then. It's heavy impact Red for flag. Ricardo Red and Albon. So Albon then gets a decent chance to come alongside and there there's Ooh. the touch. So there was the driver on the inside of uh, Ricardo. Albon was sort of aiming towards a space that was closing. Ah, oh, Daniel's come across. Take two at Suzuka is five lights away. And the Japanese Grand Prix is go once again. And it was a good reaction time for Perez. Verstappen had to chop across. The top four are still in the same order. George Russell diving to the inside and retaking the place. He's up to ninth. What's happening with uh, Yuki Tsunoda? Gasly ahead. Hold on a minute. Oh. We're not going to see a move oh. here, are we? What? The Mercedes are swapping positions. Oh, that is unbelievably close to try and go around the outside. We're heading to the 130R. So close. And Hamilton has to seed the place. Perez is going to line up once again at the 130R. Is he able to quickly get past George Russell? Russell has to give the room as we're going to go very, very tight. But Hamilton's going to have to give the place. Can Verstappen make the move? And Leclerc tries to defend. But Max Verstappen retakes the lead of the race. Russell can't turn the Mercedes at turn 11. On the inside into Spoon and through he goes. There's Perez making the move to the inside and taking third position. Carlos signs on, uh, on a couple of occasions in a row now. Wide moment for Leclerc, who goes off the road. And it's getting really tight. Can he do another amazing move? My goodness me. 27 lap old tyres. He's going to do it again. Degna 2 has been causing issues all the way through. And I believe that Sargent has gone off the track there. And that is not a great place to reverse a Formula One car onto. 
There's the defence from Charles Leclerc, but the DRS and the speed belongs to Carlos Sainz. Oh, that's a late dive bomb move, or an attempt for one for George Russell, going wheel to wheel with Oscar Piastri. George Russell, suddenly Piastri is going to let, but George Russell takes the place. Downhill to victory for the reigning world champion. Max Verstappen returns to victory. Max Verstappen wins the Japanese Grand Prix. Four Grand Prix, four one twos, one for Ferrari, three for Red Bull. And next up, we return to the Chinese Grand Prix for the first time since 2019. Uh, of course, we had a little hiccup in, in Melbourne, but then of course it's very nice to, to come back here and uh, yeah, just basically have a perfect weekend. Uh, the car was a um, bit of a question mark going into the race, but I think we made the right calls before we went into qualifying because uh, it definitely helped the car also today. And uh, that's why I think I could just push a little bit more, feel a little bit more comfortable with, with the balance of the car and basically on, on every compound, every a uh, few loads, you know, from the start to the end of the race, I uh, yeah, just felt good in the car. Yes, it was a very strong uh, race. Uh, it wasn't easy, very strategic, very um, a, lo a lot of things going on with tire degradation. One stops, two stops, whether to use the new, the used medium at the restart. Anyway, I think we nailed a, a very good race with some good overtakes at the end. Uh, yeah, at one point in the race, I thought it was not going to, to happen, the podium, and, but then in the last thing, when I put the new hard, the, the tire gave me a really good feeling and I could push on it and get back to it. Yeah, I think we were a little bit better than, than the last few events, but still, uh, we, we still missed some pace compared to McLaren and, and Mercedes. Uh, and uh, yeah, Red Bull and Ferrari, they are in another league. So yeah, we still, I think, fifth fastest team, which uh, yeah, normally we should be P9 and P10. Yeah, uh, relieved, you know, uh, I would say, uh, after I lost a couple of positions in the first start, I yeah I felt a little bit of a disappointment for sure. But at the same time, um, had a good start after that, and I think one of the big highlights was the uh, the pit stop. Uh, our team did a fantastic job. Uh, mechanics, that's very fast pit stop, and it over overtook two cars. You know, that's uh, in insane. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, they definitely kind of concentrated behind us. Uh, everyone who started on the stop, well, at least. The cars in front on the medium looked to fare okay, but yeah, myself and Yuki had a pretty poor getaway on the medium and all the cars behind on the soft just, yeah, uh, got us got us uh, quite quite easily and we were just kind of scrabbling obviously for, for some grip and um, by turn two it settled a little bit, but then I remember getting out of two quite, quite uh, still with a, a little bit of uh, lack of traction and I remember an Aston on my left, so I was kind of watching that car. And then as I was starting to drift to open up three, I, uh, I felt uh, I felt Alex. So I think, yeah, just I saw his on board and he just had so much better drive out of two. He I don't even know if he wanted to be there, but um, yeah, you could see me kind of going a little bit sideways. And uh, yeah, just uh, I think, as, as you probably said, just everyone kind of got choked up and that was that. So uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a short, short Sunday. Had a, not a great start, but obviously a bit better than the medium tyres and um, had good traction coming up turn two. Uh, yeah, that was it really. Just um, I don't think Daniel saw me and then it was just a bit of a, a pinching moment. So I tried to back out a bit, but um, couldn't quite get out the way quick enough. So yeah, it was a, a tough one to take. Obviously, we're not in a great position as a team with with parts and, and just general damage for the car so um, yeah very frustrating and obviously just uh, just disappointing we need to um, bounce back and, and get ready for for China.